Assalamualaikum and greetings. Ali Sharma here and back with more indoor micro FPV proximity quadcopters. I have two here in my hands, a QX90 and QX95. These are very powerful, very easy to repair, very easy to tweak, very easy to modify quadcopters and they are lots of lots of fun to fly. But they have open open bay propellers that means if you hit the wall that's a straight crash down to the ground that means if you hit somebody in the face ah uh, that is going to be really really terrible especially you have to be very very careful for the faces eyes and the people in your house when you're flying it around so unguarded propellers like these well quadcopters are powerful quadcopters are very nice you can give us really tough propellers unbreakable propellers but hey, they are dangerous for the people inside the house. If there are other people and they're flying, these are dangerous. These are dangerous for the pets. If you have pets inside the house, these are even dangerous for the lens of your cameras. If you hit your camera with a propeller spinning like that, you will surely scratch the lens of your camera. So yes, in that case, of course, I miss quadcopters like Tiny Whoop. But hey, Ishin has a solution for that. Meet Ishin X73 mini or let's say micro FPV quadcopter for your indoor FPV proximity adventures. Now this quadcopter in fact you can see has properly guarded propellers. It has a frame, the whole frame going around and guarding the propellers. That means when you hit the walls, hit objects around the house, you will not crash and quadcopter will keep flying. However, still I will never recommend flying it recklessly around your house while there are people, pets, inside your house. So when there are people, be very, very careful still while flying this, though it has guarded propellers, but it can still cause damage to people and pet in terms of how you crush it into them. So be very, very careful. But having this propeller guard all around the quadcopter means you will still be flying when you are crashing into objects. This is a nice little powerful all-in-one kind of FPV quadcopter. It has a camera and video transmitter right there on board. Uh, the motors are pretty powerful. It has plenty of power to fly. It has plenty of time for you to enjoy proximity FPV. And it is bind and fly with your Terranis radios right there. And of course, it's tough as well. Now, having said all these good features, Yes, it does have some flaws. First off, let me zoom in a little bit. This camera system, as you can see, is mounted with one wide plastic screw acting as a, acting as a hinge, okay? Now, it does like tighten, you can tighten it, it will never come out, but time by time, depending upon how you're crashing it, it will come off and you will have to go back to your quadcopter, pick it up and install the camera system again. Second, Ishin, are you really trying to save money by cutting out on uh, the cable length? Check this out. Check out the length of the cable here. This red black cable that is powering the camera system is extremely tight. So like you can see the tension on it when you install, uh, when you connect the when you connect the connector down here to power the camera. Now upon a little crash, if the camera tilts forward, this connector will come right off. Well, maybe connector will not come right off, but these soldered connections, soldered connection right here, these will come off and you will have trouble soldering them again because these are really, really tiny, tiny, tiny. Because these are really, really very fragile connectors and sometimes the quality of soldering from Ishin is not that satisfactory. Now, having said that, I don't want to hide anything. I want to keep everything honest and clear right here. This is the second Ishin X73 in my hands. This is really a nice quadcopter, lots of, loads of fun to fly around. It has lots of power, lots of speed, very easy to set up with your Terranis radio and super easy to set up with the clean fly. Basically, it comes set up with all the PIDs and everything already in there. All you need to do is program your Terranis, 
with one switch to arm and disarm the motors and you can fly you can fly straight away and have fun with FPV proximity flying indoors but this has one and of course I have told you some of the flaws but it has one major flaw let me show it to you this is my first Ishin X73 and of course I had a problem so I asked for the replacement uh, let me see now where is it where is it uh, which side yes at this side okay if you look at the back side here Right here you will find some tiny black color uh, electronic components. I don't know if these are ICs or what are these. So you will find it at this side. These have something to do to power your motor, okay, your corresponding motor. But you can see at this side, at this side, there is nothing. They are gone. The soldering, the soldering was so disappointingly terrible that upon one bad crash those things were gone and this motor stopped working making the quadcopter completely useless for me now having said that those little little electronic components have really really crappiest soldering that you will ever see and that is why when you crash it really bad those thing comes off and leaving your motors totally useless, leaving the whole quadcopter totally useless. So this is the advice to Ishin from my side. Please pay attention to the quality of solder you use. Please pay attention to the quality of soldering that people do on these PCBs and you will have a winning product in your hand. This is really nice. It's one of my favorite indoor FPV proximity quadcopter. Now for this second one, I have been flying it, I have been crashing it and I have been having a lot of, lot of fun until now nothing went wrong not even the propeller coming off so so far it's so good but i will suggest when you get it maybe try to resolder it strengthen those uh, soldering points or maybe just put a little bit of hot glue on top of that which will make the quadcopter a little heavier but at least those components will not come off upon heavy crushing all right enough said yes i know i speak a lot so let's take a quick look at the features of this quadcopter unbox Ishin X73 we just have one we have one quadcopter one battery and one USB dongle for you to connect your quadcopter to the computer and configure it via clean flight Tyranny's setup for Ishin X73 is very very easy go to menu Make sure Ishin E73 is selected. Press the page button, okay, and right here when we go down, you can see all the settings. The first thing that you need to do is set your mode of your radio transmitter to D8, channel 1 to 8, and then you will be able to bind it. Bind process is uh, given in the user manual, which is very, very simple, and you won't find a user manual in the box, but on Banggood. Uh, product page all right after that press page again and we will go leave the inputs as they are we will go to the mixer settings and we will give them channel 5 and channel 6 means we will create mixes for channel 5 and I have used the switch as C and channel 6 I have used a switch as D okay so basically I'm actually changing the modes uh, arming the motors using channel 5 or channel 6 and uh, using one of the switches, uh, all the three position switches, 
using them as a flight mode okay that's it nothing else you need to set just exit and you will bind your quadcopter to your radio and after that go to clean flight straight away Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.